Hello everyone, this will be a detailed review of another MMORPG called Continent of the Ninth Seal. This, just like Priston Tale 2, has an amazing gameplay mechanic, but terrible developers. I mean, these are old games, so perhaps having low online numbers are expectable. And this game doesn't have a low online number actually, there are lots of people still playing this one. But PvP is pretty much dead in this game, and I will talk about it. But still, PvE content in this game is still so fun. I left this game years ago before, because... I mean, not years ago, like one and a half year ago. Because at that time, I was kinda tired. Because I, I have been playing it for a while, and again, repetitiveness is a key element in MMORPGs, like you go same map, you kill same monsters over and over over for experience because as you level up things should get uh, harder somehow. So, but there are some different problems as well, you know, small problems but they combine together and become a huge mess. But at the same time, playing the character is so fun. The graphics you see here are, are like the lowest graphics. I will demonstrate the uh, best graphics first, then I will switch back to the uh, worst graphics. I'll tear you down. Let's begin with my favorite character, which I actually didn't level up much because her skill books w wasn't very good. While with Whisperer, there is one broken skill book that is basically all you need for PvE. I will also talk about Blade Master Riddle, such a fun character. I used to play Warrior in PvE, uh, PvP, but again, PvP is dead. Let's enter this one. Now, the character I will demonstrate is Blade Dancer, which is a really mobile character with blinks, charge attacks, but has low defense, no shield abilities. So it is my favorite type of character. Huge attack, huge mobility, but low defense. This is uh, this is basically what I like. Now, before I begin, I'll show you the. Uh, I mean, many computers would be able to play this game with highest. Let's make it high. I mean, my c computer can't, but again, graphics are, especially for its time, are so beautiful. You will see in a minute. Let me eat my banana while it is loading. Yeah, just look at how beautiful everything looks here. Look at the character, face, details, armor set. I especially like the Rabin armor set in uh, Witch Blades. Together with Rabin Blades, everything makes sense. So in this game there are like 9 continents and each continent is a theme. As you see this is like level 60 to 70 map with a uh, forest theme. Be prior to that there was a desert themed uh, uh, continent. Before that there was an ancient theme which is my favorite Okapia. And before that there was a snow themed, then medieval, then uh, basic goblins etc. So one thing in this game Look at her, how her ass is just bubbling around here. Now look, in this game there are too many mechanics. Too many. As you see, uh, skills get their power from your uh, percentage of your base attack. Base attack is here, as you see. Now, the problem is... All you have to do is just boost the attack power here. As long as you do that, like, there aren't much difference between 
playing class A or class B. It's all about moving speed or uh, pulling the opponents and killing them with an aerial etc. The fact is, remembering how there are huge differences between characters in Priston Tale 2 where like uh, mage characters have very low HP very, but very low defense but they have heals, bubbles etc. Here, ca I mean skills, I mean characters may look different but they aren't really. It's all about the stat boots you load to the character. With like huge attack, any character can do any stage basically with enough attack. There's there's not a well party system for dungeons. You basically clean every dungeon in your own as long as you boost your attack. And there are so many things to boost your attack. Let's dig into it a little. As you see, you enhance your weapons first of all. There are different grades for each item like. This item here is a legendary item for example, but this one is a rare item with a blue text. So first you must get the best weapon, then you must enhance it to really high grades. Then you do elemental enhancements as you see the uh, stat effects in the item could vary. If you, if you just look at the name of the weapon. It is a uh, Void Judar Arcblade, strength wise because there is a wisdom wise as well. There are uh, physical and magical characters so this one is for uh, strength and it says delicate. Now there are different grades like uh, vague, uh, delicate, flashy or divine. Divine are the best weapons so you must find the uh, legendary divine weapon that fits matches your character then you have to age it you have to do elemental enhancements on top of that there are these skill books that change the way the skill acts i will demonstrate it better in gameplay wise you have these palladiums i don't even know what the fuck a palladium is you basically same with these like this is splendid for example but this one is flashy if you look at the name of the palladium you can see it you basically combine them depending on their animals or their numbers and you get a stat boost here and as you see all of them give you all of the stat boosts you can enhance them as you see some of them are plus three i mean again just look at f5 here you collect these items activate and you get all these stat boosts here there are like physical defense, magical, critical damage, physical attack incre increases by 150 when you complete all these items and add them here. What else? I believe pets boost start as well. Those skill books have their sets. As you see boost physical attack. There are guild buffs like here. Like there are so many things and at the moment I think I know enough but back in the day there were many features that I didn't know about like just look at this uh, Sabrina NPC here let's go to her a little as you see these are palladiums just look at Sabrina for example alright let's I mean who cares about my like second password? By the way, I was absent for like one and a half year, and they di they didn't kick me from the guild yet. Thank that. Thank you for the guild members. If any of them watches, like look at that for example. If you get soul energy of strength, uh, third thir uh, three hundred of them, you get a random uh, strength bonus, which increases your physical attack again. But the reward is random. So again, there are just a little bit too much in this game. I mean, in a way, it increases the longevity of game because there are there are there are much things to do. But I'm I'm not sure about that really. And there are lots of currencies as well. Like goddess tears is a currency, regular gold is a currency, Akena coins is a currency. 
Like there is this god steer shop where you buy everything with god steer. Akene shop with Akene coins. There are some really good items like skill reset scroll is something I would always like to have. Then you have um, cash shop. Now I I can say that you don't. I mean the game is not that greedy. Let me tell you that. You can progress in this game without uh, paying much money. I mean, you can buy some small things. Like I remember buying brainstone fragments one time to enhance the pet because some drops in this game is too random. I will talk about that in a minute. And let's change the graphics back to where it belongs in this computer. Now again, even with the lowest uh, quality, the graphics are good, I mean. I think um, in MMORPG games, graphics doesn't matter that much. The item system, the farming system, trade system, PvP system, the system matters in these games, in, in my opinion. Like if the PvP is imbalanced or terrible to play, then what is the point of having flashy effects on characters or having too much skills like I will demonstrate these all first let's look at a uh, basic gameplay I wanted to do gameplay right now because uh, a golden age begin let's do master shoot turn this is one of the more uh, fun characters to play because many character ha many characters has broken skill books where the character spins can't get damaged during that spin and they basically obliterate anything it is not fun especially when you do like a repetitive quest or something this character has good damage but at the same time wow what did happen there that skill that skill wasn't, um, that skill wasn't like that really. Man, my computer get. As you see, there are tons of skills. Again, the game is not laggy like that. Skills connect each other too beautiful, beautifully. This is just my. This is just my. Um, let me get that uh, for Skythorn because every once in a while I grind a new character, and I would love to create a, a fuck heavenly crystals. Every once in a while I want I was opening like a new character and then I need a weapon to pass a six continent. As you see the character has lots of skills and some of them are here in shortcuts. You can basically activate the skills with the necessary button that is mentioned here. But there are also command skills that you do with uh, key combinations. For that I have to go left and right and do left click, like here, you know this skill is here and as you see it's not here because you, it's a command skill and of course there are passives to customize your character depending on what you expect. There are skills that pull the enemies towards you, there are skills that Stun enemies, of course I couldn't uh, demonstrate the stun since I couldn't demonstrate the stun since uh, the mobs here are a little bit uh, low level compared to this character I played. This character again has so much... Uh, look at the skill, this skill is my favorite in Blade Dancer. It just manhandles the opponent, you know, teleports, teleports around the enemy, does, you know, quick slashes. There is a meter system here. 
you activate this for a huge boost but at the same time you perform a super skill which is not that useful but I'll demonstrate to you for once when the bar is full and you activate the pure skill you have this long ass skill where you are untouchable and you do a big hit basically but these skills are not very practical because it didn't even kill the boss and trust me In this game there are lots of mods where there are lots of mods where you need to speedrun these dungeons which is a great addition. And you get uh, random items, you can sell these or make ores of them. There are different uses or you can dismantle them to get uh, craft items. Lots of different combinations. This, uh, you collect uh, like 25 of these if I remember correctly and you enter the hell dungeon which is very very difficult compared to these like uh, regular dungeons there are lots of portions different item types again rare item epic item legendary item in epic items you can change the uh, boosts they give to you here this bracelet gives you all air resistance for example if there will be a continent with you know mobs that does air attack to you air element this could be useful for example uh, I must I, I like to talk about craft system as well you have lots of let's see as you see in order to craft an item you need iron you need oil which is crafted when you choose to become a chef like this character here as you see oils are here here or if you want to make a leather strap you should be a tailor and you see in uses and you as you see in order to craft an item you need different um, masteries so in your account you would like to have a uh, you would like to make each character you know useful with these uh, crafts I mean this craft jobs basically this one is chefed my um, whisperer is like alchemist I have a, every job in my uh, single account basically but in 8 level items it is a little bit different ATN from ATN above you collect these from um, dungeons then you make these then again you combine these to make these then in the end you make the regular essence and of course you, you do different things as well and then you create one of these items you get these from uh, completing quests you get these by crafting you get these from the master dungeon some items wanted uh, different things as well like her I believe in order to make hernet essence in order to make divine truffle you need all these items that are dropped from 8 level as well so after the 8 continent things change a little but in the previous ones it is the way it is now if you realize the, this golden age begin and when I completed this dungeon I get 8% here you must make 100% in the time limit and this way you get items if you get 100% you get uh, 3 items and this is brilliant because speedrunning is quite fun actually in this game and it is challenging in a bit because otherwise it would be just too boring where is my uh, buff skill? yeah blood dance here and I will demonstrate it in this video in a Rakdan invasion event you enter the invasion you get 100% again with a character then you immediately switch to another character and complete try to complete 100% again for each character you complete you get God of Steers which are very very important like in God of Steers shop you have things that you would need a lot 
like there are pet eggs fishing bag inventory expansion since there are so many different item types you need as many spaces as possible for warehouse spot, uh, warehouse you need se you have 75 level items and armor you have gear sets gear sets are another thing that I will demonstrate in my um, whisper some enhancement items standard items that you need basically goddess tears are really really needed you even have skill book box skill book boxes which is very good because they are specific to character you want to improve <coughs> I'm sorry for that even charms <coughs> let me demonstrate the charms before I quit this dungeon holy shit my voice <coughs> as you see charms are the things that every character can use Let's see, when I activate wolf, there's there are two wolves going, and if if you follow the mouse, there is a charm counter here. When I get two counters, let's use this as well. Now the next charm that I activate will get buffed. Now I activate oh wait a second, there are no enemies around myself. Fuck it, I'll show you in the Blade Master. Let's return to town. Now I'll talk about PvP a little, which is like the weakest point of this game, but intentionally it was the other way around, PvP what made me love the game. When this game released everyone was talking about what an amazing PvP it had. Before that quest system was garbage in the first 5 continents, but here in from Ancelrod to like the next continent which I will show you later but the quests are nice in the first continent quests are everywhere let's say let's say there's a quest in this NPC and this NPC and like this NPC you have to move between around them which is so boring I hated quest system so much but from Ancelrod onward, the quest NPCs are gathered in one place. And instead of too many quests, you have a long quests that give you good experience. And the first five continent is easy to pass. But you have to do some epic quests because they give you skill points which are necessary to improve skill. As you see, it is not like you have one skill point for one level I have 106 skill point and violet cross gets like eight skill points per level for example each skill asks you for a different amount of uh, skill points this is the system here and you have to do some old quests epic quests to get some skill points that being said now the problem with PvP here is this. Now this is an old game, so online number will get lower eventually one day. So the PvP is very boring to reach. Like PvP is so fun. If if a 70 level guy comes and offers me PvP, I would like to play it. It is so fun. The problem is how you reach the PvP room. You click here and it is like a different server basically. You wait this fucking uh, loading screen. You come here and if, as you see there are no opponents already. And let's say there are opponents. I mean as you see there are no opponents. So what do I do now? I will go back. Uh, let's go back. I will endure this fucking loading screen again and it f those who watch may think that it is not take that long but trust me when you play the game for a while and you stare at the same fucking loading screen over and over again it feels longer and longer and on top of that let's say five minutes later I want to check if there's an opponent or not 
I have to do this do this shit again. I have to click here. I have to wait wait that loading screen again, and then I check, and there will be nothing. This system is uh, terrible. There should be an easier matching system where, when I click this fucking button, I should see matches here. If there are any matches or anything, I shouldn't endure the fucking loading screen. There should be a list of available matches. Or you should be able to do something like this. You say I want to have a match. You create a warrant here. Or you create a room here. But meanwhile you can do anything you want. If somebody matches with you. The game could teleport you immediately to PvP room. S if, s if they do something like that. They can encourage the players to PvP still. But with this system. It, it is not going to work. Like, let's say I create a room here. Let's say I say, let's say I create a team match. I want to create a team match. Let's say team match with two or four. Big three for five minutes. Like there are so many things like level gaps. If you want, you can make it unrestricted even. Let's say... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, who the fuck will wait here until somebody comes? What will you do here? You can't do anything here. There's a shop, but shop is for like repairing items. Or buying consumables so that you can't, you won't run out of items in the middle of the match. Like there is nothing to do here. This is not the case with fishing. While you are fishing, your character catches the fish, and meanwhile you can look at the trading office, for example, for items. Here you can't do anything. Like there is no reason for you to wait here. No one will come. So this PvP system is garbage. Actual PvP itself is so fun though. Back in the day I had a huge blast with PvP. I I liked it so much. You can watch PvP videos from old days. S especially there is a guy called Wilkie Way with a good um, camera quality. You can watch his videos, PvP videos. PvP was so fun in this game. It is sad. <coughs> there is another version of PvP. I will show it to here. Then I will switch to another character. The second uh, hour of this video will be Rakdan Invasion. I will do a full Rakdan Invasion when the time, time comes. I will log and I will try to do as many characters as possible. As you see there is a thing called intrusion and you can allow intrusion from where I show with my mouse. If you allow intrusion and enter a dungeon, other people could invade your uh, dungeon progress. They can fight you. The problem is it is not fun. It is not fun because characters usually one shot each other because all the stupid stat boots I show you and people spam the skills where you are invincible and that invincibility lasts for a long ass time I will show you with Blight Master so are there anything left that I can show with this character I guess not yeah, you know, items are here as you see. I show stats. There are titles that give you different boosts. Also, another way to boost your attack power. Again, it's all about uh, boosting your attack power. There aren't much difference between a blade dancer and a like blade master or warrior who has like. 80k attack they are pretty much same they can do every dungeon in similar fashion 
Perhaps some of them are just faster than the other a little. Again, I am talking about positives and negatives in a fair fashion. By the way, if your computer is laggy and if you get used to the skills enough and in order to get rid of lag, there is an effect folder in the whole game folder. What you do is you remove the effect folder and this way skill effects are disabled and that way you can play without the lag and if you know how the skills work you can land the skills you want without any problem I will demonstrate it in uh, Rakdan's invasion part of this video I will remove the skill effect folder by that time and I will demonstrate a full one hour Rakdan's invasion Just look at the way, look at how fast he goes. Now look at the skill. I'm, I'm sorry, this is the wrong. Now this one. Now this one, as you see, pulls the enemies inside. It does lots of hits. And on top of that, you are invincible the whole time. You're invincible. The enemy can't touch you. So when somebody invades your dungeon, what happens is both you and your opponent does the invent invincible move and you both of you just wait and do nothing let's just um, oh I forgot about rune sets as you see each of them give you some stat boost in in individually but there is also um, great effect if you collect complete all the legendary items you get these boss boosts but on top of that there are rune sets this is the protection of war god set which gives you even more attack power but there is something that is very broken this one apply to self upon attack reset cooldowns this allows you to uh, spam certain skills in dungeons which make um, which make the fucking uh, invasion intrusion even less fun. Now focus on the skill at uh, 5 in my uh, skill tab. As you see the cooldown reset. Because it does so many hits and there are so many opponents. I can basically use it again without uh, you know waiting the uh, cooldown. This is one of the funner characters to play with that huge movement speed he has. He doesn't even walk, he just slides. There are wind based wind, uh, wind base attacks like that. Especially like the deep bind step and swarm yield skill that I use right now. Now don't get me wrong, cooldown reset in dungeons is fun because again there are some skills that are uh, fun to use and being able to use them over and over is a fun experience. It is bad for intrusion, it is just bad for intrusion. You have dash skills like that. There are counter skills like that. Uh, it activates when your opponent seeks you while you are in the set. <coughs> Shit, I'm... <coughs> I'm just... I'm going to get sick, I guess. And there are grab skills like that, as you see the opponent grab me. Uh, 
and it's a little bit laggy. But there's one enemy left there. By the way, you can cancel certain skills. They are, those are all in, in the description. Let's look at this skill, for example. As you see, it, do, it did a couple of slashes. Because after activating skill, I, I kept pressing the left click. But if I don't do that, it just ends like that. And enters the cooldown. Now, I will not kill the boss here because after level 80 wow and there are events not like that in the middle of uh, each uh, each uh, dungeon let's get that pet fragment and there are chests like that which may give you brimstone fragments which are very very good You saw the event form. There are always events like that, but some of them could, uh, might be mediocre. Like, let's say there was a event called Band Turmoil, for example. Dwarves are artisan crystals, which are great, but the Band Turmoil is so boring that I remember leaving it up at one point. Those piece of spikes are so important. This is a speed wolf with that speed buff. You go with amazing speed. Again, anything that drops in this dungeon is important. I wonder what these do. I'll demonstrate the boss battle a little. At level 80s, you should have a skill that comp uh, gives you the um, skill reset and iframe together. Or you should have a good elemental defense, perhaps. Otherwise, otherwise bosses here do one shot, and as you see, he has too much, uh, too much defense. Now, if my skills get uh, reset, I can uh, keep going. Those meteors are dropped because of the rune set. Unfortunately, this uh, tornado spin doesn't give you iframe, so it one shots here. Now, this skill gives, gives you invincibility. The skill in B gives you invincibility, but if the cooldown doesn't reset, what I should do is basically I uh, kill the boss and then I basically run away as you see he sent some waves and when the skill got alright I as you see but again this is a slow way to kill because as I said, like, the character you play doesn't matter. What matters is the attack boost you gave to character. Now, this one has 20, 29k, for example. 29 is, like, very low for here. You must have at least uh, 40k to kill this boss in a, uh, efficiently. And this applies to every character. Just every character. Except the ones that can uh, spam the invincibility.
This is why uh, you must look at parties in Rakdan Invasion for characters at level 80. Because in Rakdan Invasion, you have to complete this dungeon just once. Just once. Then bam, you get 100%. But of course there are intruders as well. You must open, you must open the intrusion so that you can get enough valor points to complete Rakuten Invasion for that uh, specific character. Alright, there's there are no there's no reason to join here. I mean, I can do it, but it would be mediocre. I actually forgot about, you know, demonstrating the PvP system a little. Perhaps I should uh, demonstrate it with my warrior. I can do it with Blade Dancer as well, her combos are fine, but... I don't have the grab skills of... Um, grab skills of the Blade Dancer. And Blade Dancer combos are ha um, very hard. And I, I hadn't played the game for a while now. Perhaps I will play this game for a little. Now, I should mention this. There is no hurry, because there is no PvP. You can pick the pace you want in this game. Just like Priestone Tale 2. All you have to do is entering Rakdan Invasion in 9pm uh, by Turkey's hour. I am from Turkey. It may it may depend on the your country. I mean 9 p.m. is good for me. I mean I after I get f uh, get from work I do some uh, I lift some weights and afterwards I can basically join invasion. And I actually got to a point where I don't have to farm goddess steers even. Like it I I mean they would be nice but not that necessary. And another thing you must do is at, uh, attending to the survival which you will be able to do with like 20k attack or something not hard to achieve you go to round 20 and you get huge rewards and you can do it with any character so just do invasions and do the do the goddamn survival and afterwards you can pick the pace you can play this game for any hour you want. There aren't much things to miss. I mean, of course, there are good things to do. Like, you can do dungeons, you can farm event items, you can enter hell dungeon. There are things to do, but there is no hurry, you know? The gameplay itself is so fun that you don't have to achieve a certain level. You don't have to be stronger than a certain individual, you know? These are some good stuff. Now, I entered here for demonstrating PvP a little. Let's go to Arena ma Arena Manager. Now, Warrior is a grab-heavy character. I played this game so much in PvP. I need the perfect of a seismic. Let's go to PP training world. camp. It is the only way for me to show you the the way PvP works. You basically do combos, but at the same time, there are skills that allow you to get away from the combos, but they those have like cooldowns. Still trying to be the best. Oh shit, I wasted charge attack. Whatever. Now you have to connect the skills here. This character, for example, charge attacks like that, or this one. Like that, to uh, keep, the di uh, keep the distance. You have a grab skill like that. Ah oh, shit, I, I couldn't. I couldn't forget the skill. But what you see here was a combo, for example. Ah shit, I missed again. It's been a while since I didn't play. There are skills like that that pulls the enemy and stuns, giving you time to attack. Ah, I missed again. I haven't played for a while now. 
I dropped so many combos here. You also have water mill smish, smash, which again close the distance. You have this stuns. I believe I dropped the combo because I should do the fast version of um, blazing slash here. There was a way to reset the cooldowns. I I forgot how I do that. Let's say I stunned. I did this. Yeah, like that. You can go for infinite like that. I tr I mean, there are lots of skills as well. You have a counter grab in this uh, fighter classes, for example, like that. If the enemy charges towards you, you can use this. Use this. Man, how do we press F5? No. There was a there was a button that reset all the cooldowns. What was it though? Anyway, this is a counter grab. Ah, come on, this piece of, of shit just. As you see, and the way the way you connect skills is depend on your attack speed as well. Certain characters need good attack speed, while certain don't. Some characters doesn't need to do like combos. Ranger, for example, Ranger is just keeping the distance and shoot you with arrows. While Warrior has a uh, good defense and charge skills to keep the distance. There is a character called Reapers with a sight in his in her hand. She's like Warrior with charge skills but um, doesn't have shield ability. Sh she's all about just going fast using uh, armor breaking skills while Warrior does grabs. I mean, grabs are better, but um, Reapers has more damage, for example. There are different things like that. Again, just watch some PvP videos. PvP was so fun back in the day. All they have to do is, when you click the button, there should be matches available. That's, that's it, that's all there is. And in PvP skill books are unaffected, so those spi stupid iframe moves where you are invincible for huge amount of time, they don't they don't they don't exist here in uh, regular PvP. In regular PvP each skill is each skill is just the in its base form, which is more much more balanced. Let's look at the combos I do here. I mean, connecting them is so fun, and I haven't played this game for a while. Back in the day, I were doing like infinite combos with Warrior. I was doing highly damaging combos with Blade Dancer. And that talent is gone now. Because PvP is dead for a long while. Also, there were some uh, party matches where there are two groups. And they fight and for each kill you get your team gets points and it lasts for like 10 minutes those were so fun those were amazing times man this uh, this is still such a great game still I mean PvP at least PvP is still good they just correct their matching system here and it would be really really fun there are nice customizations as well. Let's enter my um, main character a little. This is the Be gone. As you see, this is a pirate themed uh, costume. But there are tons of customization options available. As you see here, I need to improve the armors. I was last time I was farming items for armor sets. 
because some armor sets has broken abilities. This one has like full uh, skill book set with spiral shot, which is like so broken. Almost all of them is perfect, have a um, full set effect. The sixth one is not even that important, but it stuns actually, it is very good. You have base stats, increased damages. Again, it has the it has the necessary rune set, protection of war god. I mean, most of the parts are vague, though. I need to find divines of these with um, skill cooldowns, uh, stun effects on hits. This class is just so good. As you see, these are the uh, customizations, and you can link these items to them for buffs, and some of them are broken, like drops cooldowns for like 10%. And critical chances, wisdoms. This, this character is a magical character, so it does wisdom. Man. This book of knowledge could... Uh, now, the early levels were a nightmare to pass back in the day. Nowadays, the game give you, give, gives you this book of knowledge so that you can pass the early levels fast. Like, once you hit level 50, you can use this to get like 4 levels. And this is a good thing. Because, as you see, I have so many char uh, characters already. After after a while, it gets really boring. And I remember these books helped me so much in the late, latest character I um, latest character I leveled up. Basically, I believe it was my elementalist, the last one. But again, like customization is good. Characters look amazing. I you will see how broken uh, this class is with all these buffs in Rakdan Invasion. I will actually close the skill effects but you will understand what what's going on. This is the one character that even with uh, low attack power I mean attack power is not that low 56 is not 56 K is not that low or anything but you get the you get the point. This character is just broken. Even with low attack powers I was able to do Nightmare Hell Dungeons, etc. You can use Mailbox as a storage option. Like these things are here since when? 12, 11. This, I mean, these, these items are here for like years, perhaps. Why did I, uh, I... I tried to sell this, but it returned and I didn't bother getting it back. This is good, this is a storage option basically. I probably saved this one for creating a 7th level uh, legendary item. Let me show you that. For my uh, Blade Dancer probably. Uh, I should come here. Universal Crafting. These are Hernet items, 8 level and above, for 8 level and above. You create art sand crystals by uh, junk items you may not use. For these, as you see, you need these. This is a little bit hard to find, but I believe I had some. And then you, and then you have to collect these items, which is not that hard. And you need epic weapon ore. You uh, Alright, let me show you the combination in blacksmith a little. Then. The first half of this video is done. Second half, half will be for one hour invasion. You basically refine an item here and get ore of it and you use it for uh, crafting other items. I can use this for crafting a rare item of like level 63. Let me show you that. As you see, this is weapon, but this is armor. So if I if I look at a armor of this level, you will see that it asks for that. 
you can combine certain items, especially with epic items. You cr you put epic item here, you put a silver chunk, tartis items, and then you change the stats, for example. There are so many different options for that. Wow, well, I remember this event item. Fishing gives you art sun crystals, which is very, very important. What else? Pets are very important as well. Let me show you the pets. Pet, where was the pet window? Alright, here, F6. Now, this one is my main pet with max evolution. With evolution, pets basically collect, collect money and items. They give you this move speed and critical buff, for example, from time to time. Which is not bad, actually. Some people act like the blue ones are useless because of the boosts they give. I mean, boosts are fine, but the main reason you want a pet is collecting items. And there is this exploration. As you see, it gives me these... Um, These are basically pet items. You can combine pets to get like a um, epic or master grade pet, which gives you better buffs. But again, buffs are not that important. On top of that, there was a. Alright, this this is exploration for getting uh, pet equipments. You can feed uh, items to pets to increase their level. Let's say select an equipment. Now I I basically feed these items. I mean pets favorite belts are for just um, pet boosting. Now it will gain 6000 uh, experience and this way it will become level 26 as you see. Now as you see there are items you can can I wear that here? No, let's throw it because this is tier four but this is tier five. This way you this way the pets will give you more uh, strength here as well. As you see again this is this is another way of boosting your uh, stats. And perhaps um Perhaps if you get like a master grade, um, perhaps if you get a master grade uh, pet, they will find you better items for better item boost. This is why people think the blue ones are not that useful. I mean, it makes sense, kind of actually. Now I understand. There are a magic system in item. As you see, there are stars. You get stars by using. Um, ores of um, level 75 in these items case my bow needs some I believe the last time before leaving the game I was boosting the bow because bow only has 5 stars right now and in order to do that you need a god steer shop again as you see you need these for not uh, protecting the rank and you use a uh, weapon or for like boosting weapon or armor or for boosting armor I was also farming in dungeons for I was also farming dungeons now these pulsating pieces etc are for uh, here was somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah, as you see. All of them give you same boost, so since I progressed here, I add items here, and when I combine, uh, when I complete this row, this piece activates, and then when I complete all four pieces, the effect here activates. This is how it works. So, I think I did a good demonstration. Brainstorm fragments are so important so that you can make the pets uh, useful. They they begin uh, 
they begin like collecting the collecting all these craft items in dungeons which is very good you basically collect all these and you gather a certain amount and then you create items I was going to do a armor set for this character it was very necessary you also go in um, chaos dungeon where you create brushes brushes are a unique uh, unique thing this one here for example for every hit it uh, it drains my health but it also gives you all these buffs you see which is which are very good and since this character is a spin to win character where you spin your even if your health goes up you know the cooldown resets because this skill does so many hits you reactivate the skill and you keep the drill this is just one of the ways I was um, I was doing these uh, items for my for my blade master by blade master these needs these items to kill the boss that I couldn't I, I couldn't kill the last time you saw that so again there are so many things to do in this one and again perhaps maybe maybe I should keep going with this game especially if I buy a new computer this game is fun and while recording this video I remember that I feel like I kinda miss this game a little even I felt that way with Priston as well but Priston needs to correct some things this one is still fine actually like all I have to do is playing it for one hour in Rakdan Invasion and do the survival once a week and that's it actually like I don't have to do much with this one now that I come to think about it perhaps I will do that I will hang with this uh, game for a while perhaps I will make uh, some videos of survival as well I mean it's not like I have a great account or anything but this one is this one does dungeons well but at the same time this one is not um, not we uh, not too broken where it one shots everything so thanks everyone for watching I will add the Rakdan invasion when the time comes to like a second right after this moment <laughs>